for today's lesson, we're going to talk about indefinite and definite integral. Integral calculus is the second part in the study of calculus. The first part deals with finding the derivative of a function, also equal to the slope of a function, which is obtained by applying the differentiation process. Differentiation is a process of finding the derivative or differential of a function. But before we proceed, let's illustrate the difference between derivative and differential. We have used dy over dx to indicate the derivative of y with respect to x and treated dy over dx as a single symbol and not as the ratio of dy and dx. Now, we're going to define dy and dx. For y equals f of x, we define dx as the differential of the independent variable x and dy as the differential of the dependent variable y. These symbols are called differentials. For example, if we find the derivative of 2x squared, the derivative would be 4x. We change y to dy over dx and solve for the derivative by applying the differentiation rules. In this case, we used power rule, 2 times 2, 4, copy x, raised to 2, minus 1. That's why the derivative is 4x. On the other hand, to find the differential of y, we change y to dy and not dy over dx and find the differential by applying the same process of finding the derivative. Therefore, the differential is also equal to 4 x by the power rule. The only difference is we should multiply it by differential of x or dx. So as you can see, pag derivative, ginagamit natin si dy over dx as a single symbol. Sa differential, hindi. Pinaghiwalay natin. We first change y to dy or differential of y and then find the differential with the same process as of finding the derivative. However, we should not forget to write dx or differential of x. Another example, y equals 4x squared minus x. The derivative of this function would be 8x minus 1 by applying power rule to the first term and identity function rule to the second term. The differential would be dy equals 8x minus 1, but do not forget to multiply it by dx. However, since there are two terms, we should enclose it in parentheses and write dx. So that's another thing you need to remember. If you are looking for the differential of a function with two or more terms, you should enclose them in parentheses because the differential is a multiplier to the entire value. So the differential of y equals 4x squared minus x is written as dy equals, close in parentheses, 8x minus 1 times dx and not dy equals 8x minus 1 dx. This one is not considered correct. And that's the difference between derivative and differential. We need to be familiar with differential because the integral always comes with a differential, else the operation will be meaningless. Remember that the process of finding the derivative is differentiation. The inverse operation of differentiation is called anti-differentiation or integration denoted by this symbol. This symbol is what we call the integral sign and the function to be integrated is called the integrand. For example, we have in here integral of f prime of x dx. This one is what we called the integrand and this one is the integral sign. Take note that an inverse operation undo what its inverse has done into a given expression or function. To find the antiderivative is to find the original function. For example, given y equals 8x cubed, find the differential. If we find the derivative of 8x cubed, 
the derivative would be 24x squared by the power rule. 3 times 8, 24 times x raised to 3 minus 1, which is 2. Therefore, the differential, or dy, is also equal to 24x squared, but we should write or multiply it by dx. Now, if we want to get back to the original function, we just need to perform integration. If we integrate this differential, integral of 24x squared dx, the answer will be 8x cubed, which is the original function. That's why the inverse operation of differentiation is anti-differentiation or integration. We see from this example that the inverse function is what must be performed to get us back to where we started. Now, in integral calculus, we have indefinite and definite integral. Let's first define indefinite integral. Consider the following functions. The derivative of all these functions are all equal to 6x. We apply power rule to the first term, 2 times 3 is 6 times x raised to 2 minus 1, which is 1. And remember that the derivative of any constant is 0. That is why the derivative of these functions are all equal to 6x. Therefore, the differential, which is dy, is also equal to 6x dx, denoting x as the independent variable. Now, if we apply the definition of inverse function, which says that if we integrate the differential of a function, we will get back to the original function. Therefore, in integrating 6x dx, the answer can either be 3x squared or 3x squared plus 100 or 3x squared minus 3 or 3x squared plus 5, 3x squared minus 400. So, hindi lang isa ang posibleng maging sagot. If we add another function like h of x equals 3x squared minus 1 million and find the differential of this which is also equal to 6x dx and integrate the differential the answer is the original function which is 3x squared minus 1 million generally integrating a given differential gives an infinite number of functions which differ from one another by a constant only and this is what we call indefinite integral. So therefore, we can just write the integral of 6x dx as equal to 3x squared plus c, where c is called an arbitrary constant. The indefinite integral may be written in symbol as integral of f prime of x dx equals f of x plus c. The definition is stated as the integral of a given differential of a function is equal to the function itself plus the arbitrary constant, where f prime of x dx is called the integrand, always a differential, and fx plus c is the unknown function or the indefinite integral whose differential is equal to the integrand. And that's the reason why the integral of 6x dx always a differential is equal to the original function 3x squared 3x squared plus 100 up to 3x squared minus 1 million that differ only from one another by a constant we write the integral of 6x dx as equal to the original function in which they all have 3x squared plus instead of writing these constants we only write plus c to mean an arbitrary constant. And that's what we call indefinite integral. Do not forget to add plus c. In solving for the indefinite integral, 
we have to follow some basic integration theorems. Number one, the integral of zero dx is equal to c. Second, the integral of dx is equal to x plus c. Third, the integral of k dx is equal to kx plus c, where k is constant. Fourth, the integral of x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. This is what we call the power rule. Number 5, the integral of k times f of x dx is equal to k times the integral of f of x dx. And theorem number 6, which is the sum and difference rule, the integral of f of x plus and minus g of x is equal to the integral of f of x dx plus and minus integral of g of x dx. Don't forget to add the arbitrary constant c to your answer. It should be done as soon as all the integral symbols are gone.